Hey there. Okay, so uh, here we are again. Second time in a week that I am coming to you here on YouTube, sharing something that was not on the schedule, not on the plan, uh, but kind of like last week's video, I just felt like we needed to share this. My mom and I were actually on the phone this morning and we were talking about how to build your business when you're in unprecedented times. And uh, it kind of feels like we've been here a lot the last couple of years, right? And this is something that with everything going on in Ukraine right now has been coming up quite a bit in our community. And it's something that's been on our minds a lot. And I'm sure it's something that's been on your mind a lot. And if you are an entrepreneur and you are trying to grow a business, especially on social media, you might be asking yourself right now, like, how do I continue to build my business when life is just really not business as usual, right? So um, I took some notes from my mom and I's conversation, um, just some notes from my own experience um, through building a business through a global pandemic the last couple of years, um, as well as other, you know, political and current events and things that have come up over the last few years of being an entrepreneur and just kind of some of the lessons that I've learned in doing so. Uh, and I hope that it will help you. Uh, if you hear birds tweeting and things like that, I'm actually sitting outside. It's um, warm today for the first time in a while here in Texas, actually. It's been kind of cold the last couple of weeks. And um, I'm sitting in what is soon going to be our new home gym. My husband and I bought a fixer upper a few years ago. And um, I guess I watched too much HGTV because I somehow talked him into doing this with me where we bought this fixer upper. It's a 45 year old home that we were gutting and renovating the whole thing. Uh, we're almost done with the whole house, um, but right now we are building a room on the back of the house that's gonna be our home gym. So um, one of my tips that I'm sharing with you today is get outside um, and I'll explain more about that in a minute, but I'm just kind of taking my own advice right now and uh, sitting outside in the beautiful weather um, where one day, hopefully soon, I'll be sitting on a yoga mat right here. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, that's where I am. So if you hear birds or weird noises, dogs barking, whatever, it's just because I'm sitting outside in the backyard. So, um, let's see, I took some notes. I don't want to ramble too much. Um, but what I wrote here at the top of the page was really just the question I, I said at the beginning, how should entrepreneurs respond in unprecedented times, right? How are we supposed to respond? What are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to continue posting about our business and our products and our services? Are we supposed to go silent? Are we supposed to disappear? Are we supposed to show up more? And honestly, like the very first thing I have to say before I can get into kind of how my mom and I handle this, um, is I have to say that no matter how you're feeling and how you respond right now, it is 100% okay and 100% valid. Your feelings are valid. If you're feeling anxiety, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling like you can't, um, you just like can't stop watching the news or you can't, you can't bear to watch the news, like it doesn't matter. However you're feeling right now is how you're feeling. And I think the first thing that we need to recognize that before we're entrepreneurs, we're human. And we're humans with, you know, we're living this human experience together, but we all deal with it differently. And however you're handling it is totally valid. And this was the message that my mom and I brought to our community uh, way back in March of 2020, uh, when we had the first, you know, lockdowns start to happen here in the United States, because we noticed like some people were responding in a way of like, oh my gosh, I have all this extra time. I need to work my business. Whereas other people were like, how could you possibly work your business right now? Right. And with everything going on in Ukraine right now, we're seeing that again in the way that people respond. And we see it really anytime there's a big global event, um, even if it's like a global or a, a localized weather event, right. And things like that, political events, elections, um, everything that happened with George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, um, everyone responds to it differently. So the way that you're responding and the way that you're feeling right now, if you're feeling anxious or overwhelmed, just know that that's okay. Uh, know that we're all feeling a little bit of that right now. I know um, when I woke up 
Thursday morning and saw the news of what was going on in Ukraine, um, we had kind of heard, you know, rumor of things that might be happening soon or things that might be coming. And when I woke up that morning and my husband was like, hey, this is happening, like, we kind of took about 30 minutes that morning just to kind of get informed and do some Google searching and some reading and, you know, diving into things on social media that would that would help us get informed. Um, and I, I remember feeling a little bit of anxiety, right? And feeling like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And, and finding it harder than usual to get focused and into business that morning. And I just want you to know if you're feeling that way, first of all, you're not alone and it's totally valid. And um, I, had to, I had to start the video with that, right? Like I'm not here to tell you how to feel or how to react or anything like that. Um, but I do wanna share my own personal experience as a business owner. Um, because as we found out, like with um, the global pandemic, it went on a lot longer than what we thought it was going to uh, initially, right? Initially, we we're like, oh, it's just a couple weeks. It's just a couple weeks, gonna flatten the curve, gonna move on. And it turned into something that now, two years later, we're still dealing with, we're still living in, and it's changed our way of life. And so um, we all had to learn how to live with it and how to handle it and how to work through it. And so I'm gonna share some of my tips in that uh, with you today. So that's that was my first note. However you're feeling is 100% okay. Um, you've gotta take care of your mental health. And I think also it's important to remember that we're not here to judge people for how they're feeling, right? Like, I mean, some people, you know, they get on social media because they need a distraction and they're posting because they need a distraction or they need um, a release or a laugh or a smile or, or whatever. Um, whereas some people feel that they need to draw into themselves a little bit more and they are not as present on social media. And so if you have people online that you follow or that you have in your community, um, I also wanna encourage you um, just not to judge people for how they're responding because again, we're all living the same experiences, but we are um, experiencing them through a different lens. We all see things through our own lens of our own life and our own experiences and our own perceptions. and also, you know, we all experience things and deal with things differently. So that was my first thing. Take care of your mental health. Don't judge others for how they're taking care of their mental health. But um, diving into kind of how, how I tend to handle these things, I kind of like to live by a mantra. And my mom is the same way where we say, you know, like today I will do something that my future self will thank me for. And I don't say that just in unprecedented times. I try to say that to myself daily and it's kind of a little mental pep talk that I give to myself. In fact, today I will be totally honest, I was not feeling like getting on video today. I'm tired, um, I've got a little bit of a headache, I have a monstrous to-do list today because we took um, you know, some extra time last week to start ripping apart and building this room uh, and so I just didn't feel like getting on video today. but. I said, you know what, Jordan? Your future self is going to thank you for sucking it up and getting on video today. So suck it up and get on video. This is actually the third video I recorded today, um, even though I felt like recording zero. So um, do something that your future self will thank you for. It's just something that I try to live by. And I'm not always perfect at it by any stretch, but I try to live by it and I try to you know, I try to embody that on a day-to-day -day basis, um, not just in my business, but in my life, like with my health and things like that, right? Um, but beyond that, um, the, some of the ways that I do that in unprecedented times is by focusing on what I can control. All right, so I've got, let's see, one, two, three, six, six tips. And the first one is focus on what you can control. Right, so when I say that I wanna do something that my future self will thank me for, um, that usually starts with doing something that I can control. I can't control uh, what's happening on the other side of the world right now, um, much as I might want to, it's not something within my control. So what can, I con what can I control? I can control my own mindset, I can control my own actions, I can control um, my own decisions, right? And so, um, first of all, that first and foremost is, I think, a very liberating way to look at things. Um, anytime you're going through something hard, whether it's a personal thing or I know um, 
back in 2016, I went through a divorce and that whole year, like I literally spent every morning saying, okay, what can I control today? What can I focus on today? And that was how I got up and got through every single day, even on the days when I didn't feel like it, when so much of my life at that particular moment felt so out of control, I got through it by focusing daily on the things I could control, right? So focus on what you can control and um, get outside. Okay, that's my second tip, get outside. Uh, I'm sitting outside right now. I actually spent the whole morning outside at the horse barn. I went and had my Monday morning writing lesson that I have. And um, there's just something about being outside. You know, um, I got this tip from Mel Robbins on Instagram. She posted it earlier in the weekend. Um, same thing, talking about these unprecedented times. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so spot on. I'm grateful that I'm in Texas and it's kind of warm. Um, but uh, she, uh, she, Mel Robbins in her photo on Instagram, she was like out in the snow, but she's like, even if you can only get out for five minutes, like get outside, breathe some fresh air, um, take in the scenery, just get outside. There's something about getting outside that raises your endorphins. It gets you feeling better, gets your blood pumping. Um, it just changes your perspective a little bit. And I think sometimes when we get really caught up in the news and the media and social media, and we get locked, you know, on the scroll, right? We, we just get so internal, we start internalizing what we're reading. And when you get outside, you, you realize that there's, you know, life is still here and the world is still still turning and things are still happening and we're, we can get outside and just get some fresh air uh, which can be huge uh, for boosting your mood and and just kind of allowing you to refocus which can be really powerful um, also spending time with people right spending time with people that you love whether it's your family your friends um, getting around people that you enjoy and just talking about normal things and doing um, normal things in unprecedented times can be really really powerful um, give somebody a hug today, you know, um, go hug your spouse or your kids or your friend or your coworker if you guys hug each other. Um, I'm not a big hugger, but I do hug my family. <laughs> so, um, you know, go, but go give somebody a hug, right? That physical touch can also be really good at just kind of mentally resetting our emotions and reminding us to be grateful and be grateful for what we have. Um, beyond that, next tip, tip number four, turn off the news. Okay, and I feel like I have to expand on this and say not just the news, not just what you're seeing on television in the media, but also on social media. Turn it off. I remember at the beginning of the pandemic, also um, with everything that happened here in the US with George Floyd was the same kind of thing. I got completely buried in the news. Like I couldn't turn it off. I couldn't quit reading. I couldn't quit searching. I couldn't quit, um, you know, scrolling and reading things about it. And it just totally overwhelmed me. Um, mostly because everything I was reading in both of those instances, I had no control over it, right? There was nothing I could actually do to fix it or make it better. So I was just consuming, consuming, consuming and I don't know if you've noticed this, but like when I just get in that, that consumption mode, it's so mentally and physically and emotionally draining, right? It just sucks all the energy out of you, especially when it's in a situation where there's nothing you can do about it, right? So when I'm asking myself, like, what's the difference between being informed and allowing it to completely consume my life because I think there's a, a, a healthy balance, right? So the way I handle it is I allow myself like one Google search a day, right? I've got one media outlet that I won't say I trust them necessarily because hey, it's the media, but um, I've got one media outlet that I uh, plug into. They kind of keep a rolling feed of the most up-to-date things. They did this during the pandemic. Um, they're doing it right now with everything going in, uh, going on in Ukraine. And I, you know, I'll kind of read the headlines and I'll say, okay, I'm informed and I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to go about my day, right? I'm going to go back to focusing on what I can control. I'm going to get outside. I'm going to spend time with my family. I'm going to do something my future self will thank me for. Uh, and I'm not going to get stuck in the scroll stressing about things that I literally cannot control right? Because there's there's a big difference between being informed and just let, allowing it to consume your life in an unhealthy way because there's nothing you can actually do about what you're consuming, right? 
So turn off the news, stop scrolling. And now um, my last two tips, they're like big ones. I'm really excited about these. These are the, the best two, okay? Go learn something, right? And I have to credit our friend Ray Higdon. Um, he actually did, I think it was a podcast or it might've been a Facebook Live, can't remember. But this was way back in 2016. I remember I was listening to it while I was driving uh, home from the horse barn back to my apartment. Um, it was just a couple of months after my divorce and uh, I was listening to this and he was talking about like what to do and how to get yourself out of a mental funk, right? And I felt like I was kind of living in a mental funk at the time, which is why it probably like really resonated with me. Um, but he was talking about First of all, like change your location, get up and do something, meaning like go outside, take a shower, go for a walk. Um, one of my big ones is I love to come out and just spend like five minutes playing fetch with the dogs, right? Like they're so happy, they're so joyful, they love it so much. It just like is an instant mood booster no matter what's going on in your life. So um, hanging out with animals is a great way to, to boost your mood. But um, he, he started by saying that, but then his next piece of advice was go learn something. Um, and Mel Robbins talked about this on Instagram this weekend as well, like get into a book or a podcast or a YouTube video or something where you're going to learn something, right? And then this is the last tip and it's the big, big one, teach someone something or go give value to someone else in some way. Because, and what Ray was talking about in his video way back in 2016 was that um, when you do something good or something valuable for someone else, it instantly boosts your mood as well, right? So like, it's a win-win all the way around. You're doing something good for someone else and it makes you feel better, right? Like, where's the loss in that? So in unprecedented times, when you're, you're feeling a little overwhelmed and a little, um, maybe like you're in a funk kind of all the time, right? one of the best things you can do is go learn something and then go share what you learned with somebody else. So um, as business owners, we can do that by creating content. You can create an Instagram post, you can create a video, you can go live. You could even just share a 60 second clip about something you learned in your Instagram or Facebook stories, right? Like there's so many really quick and easy ways to take something you learned and then turn around and teach it to somebody else and pour value into someone else's life. And what I love to do when I'm really feeling in a funk is I will follow those steps, right? So the first thing is I'm like, all right, I'm going to turn off the news, turn off the media. I'm going to get outside. I'm going to do something fun for like five, 10 minutes, kind of reset my mental state. And then I'm going to dig into a book or a podcast or a YouTube channel, or maybe it's a course I've invested in, whatever. I'm going to spend like 30 minutes learning something. Then I'm going to get into action. I'm going to go share what I learned with somebody, whether it's one-on-one -on -one conversation or on social media through a post or a video or a story. And then I'm going to get really focused on what I can control today. And I'll look at my list, my to-do list of what's going on. And I'll say, okay, what is going to have, like what one thing is going to have the biggest impact that my future self is going to thank me for, right? And so I will go back to that one thing. I'll focus in on it and I'll get it done. And then I know if anything else comes up throughout the day, right, then it's okay. Because I've already done the one big thing. And I've already taken care of my mental health. I've gotten outside. I've poured value into someone else. So that's just a really good way, really powerful way to think about it. So basically the whole point of this video, um, I wanted to give you some tangible strategic things you can do for building your business in unprecedented times. However, if we wanna go back to the original question, how should entrepreneurs respond in unprecedented times you should respond in whatever way feels best for you. That's it. You should feel in, you should respond in whatever way feels best to you. There's no wrong way or right way to respond. There's only what is wrong or right to you. So maybe what feels good for you is just not to acknowledge it at all and just push through and keep doing business as usual. And if that's what feels good to you, that's okay. And maybe what feels best to you is slowing down and unplugging a little bit and taking some time away while still getting those main income producing activities done. And that's okay. Or maybe you just need a day where you don't do anything and that's okay too, right? There's not a wrong or a right way. There's only what is wrong or right for you. And I think for me, the, um, 
you know, the mantra of doing something today that my future self will thank me for, I know at the end of the day, that's what's gonna make me feel the best for me personally. Might not be true for you, doesn't matter. You don't have to do that. But for me, what makes me feel the best is to stay true to that mantra. And I know that's what's gonna help me push through, whether it's a global pandemic or whether it's what's going on right now in Ukraine or you know any other event that we're seeing um, on the news or in current events and things like that. I think um, for me, that's how I have found to deal with it uh, in a way that is both balanced and healthy while still taking care of my business. Because at the end of the day, I still have to provide for my family still have to take care of our clients, still have to take care of our customers, right? I still have to show up as a business owner, um, but that's what I have found has been the best balance for me in terms of balancing mental health, staying informed while still staying plugged into my business at the same time. So that's all I had to share with you today. Um, I hope it was valuable. If you have something that you would like to contribute I would absolutely love to see it in the comments because I think all of us, like I said earlier, we all respond to these types of things differently. We all um, have different ways that we cope with stress and we cope with anxiety and we cope with overwhelm. So if you have something that's been working really well for you or something, maybe it's a habit or a task or just a thought or a comment that you would like to share and contribute, I would love it if you would drop it in the comments below and let us know, or if just one of these tips that I shared today really resonated with you and you're excited to try it, let me know that as well. Uh, we'll be back in the next video with regular scheduled programming. I just wanted to, uh, it's actually my mom's idea to do this video this morning. We were talking and she was like, I know we just did an unscheduled video last week, but we should do another one. And uh, since I kind of run the YouTube channel over here, I was like, mom, that's a great idea. I'll do it. Um, but it was her idea. I don't want to steal her idea because this was totally her and it was a really, really smart idea because I think it's something that is on everyone's mind and we're all kind of wondering, how are we supposed to respond? What are we supposed to do? So um, at the end of the day, do what's best for you and your business. Don't judge others for doing what's best for them and their business. Uh, and if you need anything at all, know that you can always reach out to me and my mom. We're always here to help and connect with you. Um, don't hesitate to connect with us in the uh, in the description below. We've got links to our Instagram profiles, our Facebook community, um, and different places where you can connect with us. And we love to connect with our viewers. So don't hesitate to do that. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you back in the next video.